There we go, fish on, yeah buddy. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm out here in the garage and I have the kayak up on the car and ready to go for a trip tomorrow. It's gonna to be a lot of structure. And I know the first time that I went out, I really tore up the side of my kayak with the waves and the wind and just getting tossed into these pilings. And with all the barnacles and, and just the other crustaceans on there, it just cuts into the side of the kayak pretty badly. So I'm um, looking up for a way to kind of create a quick and easy bumper, if you will, for, for the kayak. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I'm gonna to show you how I go about doing that and how inexpensive it can be. This is what we're looking at and see just how chewed up this had gotten. It is not pretty and it's really beat up. Some areas have some really deep gouges. I mean, it's all cosmetic, but at the same time, it, uh, it beats it up. And when you have an investment that you spend this much on, you're going to want to do your best to try to take care of it. And you want to try to keep it for as long as possible without digging holes in it. So what we're doing today is uh, making that little bumper. For about $14, you've got a real quick and easy solution that you can just put a quick bumper up on your kayak if you're going to go out the next day and you know you're going to be hitting a lot of structure and you want to protect yourself from it, protect your kayak from it, this is a, one of the ways that you can go about doing that. And again, it pulls off pretty easy as well, so you don't have to leave it on there if you're afraid of looking good. But if you're in fishing for looking good, you might need to rethink your strategy. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so what you've seen me do so far is pretty much just take little pieces of, of that tape, that Gorilla Tape, and secured just a few different places on there so that I could actually have it hold while I actually go through and secure it um, permanently. Not permanently, you know what I mean. Let's take a closer look. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with that tape and it's gonna run the full length of it on this side and then we'll see what the finished product looks like. Let's hang in there. Alright, that first run secures the hose in place to where you want it. So now that I've got the hose secured where I want it, I'm going to run another tape underneath it and then we're going to run some more uh, across just to kind of make sure that it's covered up. All right, so we did the one side, we got the hose secured, we put it in place, we've done the bottom layer, we're gonna do one more top layer on it, and then this side is done. We'll repeat the process on the other side, and I'll show you the whole thing when it's all done. All right, guys. That's it, we've pretty much finished off this one side. Um, again, it's just literally a $7, $8 hose from Walmart. Um, again, just a roll of 
Gorilla Tape for all weather Gorilla Tape that we're using. I chose black because my kayak is orange and black and gray, um, but ember. So it fit in pretty decently, so it's not too terrible. Um, even visually, it's not going to be too bad. Uh, it turned out, turned out okay for just a quick and dirty 10 minute um, fix so that I could get out there and uh, not be too terribly worried about banging into those uh, pilings and, and getting scraped up with the oysters. As you can see, I put it along the line here where most of the damage happened. And now if, uh, if I do end up hitting, it's gonna hit here and it'll also not only protect the kayak from a direct hit, but it's also going to keep this bottom section. So you can see it's got some gouges there. It's gonna keep that bottom section from even making any contact. So I'm pretty confident this is gonna work and it should hold up and uh, I'll know a lot better tomorrow. So I'll give you a report after the fact on how it held up. As you can see, and you know that um, the AI put some bumpers, built some bumpers for the kayak, and I'm out here on structure, and you can see that they're there, and they are doing their job, keeping me from getting scraped up. I'm tied off to these filings here, and I'm bouncing off of them, and I'm not, not getting scraped up at all. See on this side, It's all there and I'm not getting beat up so that's a good thing it's a bonus no fish today but we're testing out the bumpers and so far it's uh, I'm very happy with it it's a go